Hello students, welcome to the third session of the online class of chemistry part. In the previous class, we have discussed the discovery of the nucleus and the gold foil experiment. In this session, we are going to discuss the Bohr's atomic model, protons and neutrons, atomic number and the mass number. Okay, let's start. First, we have the Bohr's atomic model. Niels Bohr, a Danish physicist, also worked under the guidance of J.J. Thomson agreed to the planetary model of Rutherford. However, he refined this model by stating that each electron could move only in a specific path around the nucleus called orbit. Next, electrons can move to a lower or higher orbit only by losing or gaining energy. This model addressed the flow in Rutherford's model. In the year 1922, Niels Bohr received the Nobel Prize in Physics for his work under the structure of atom. Moving on to the next slide, we have an image of Rutherford Bohr atomic model. So now see, this one is the image of Rutherford Bohr atomic model. You have to draw this in your copy, okay? I'll check it in the next assignment. Then we have the protons and neutrons. Protons was first observed by Goldstein and was named by Rutherford, which is a positively charged particle and weighs the same as the hydrogen atom, the lightest atom, that is 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 24 grams. Don't forget to put the minus sign in front of 24. Okay. Next, we have a proton carries a single positive charge of 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. The charge is equal and opposite to that of an electron. The mass of the proton is 1836 times greater than that of the electron. Next, the neutron was discovered by James Chadwick in 1935 and he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for this discovery. A neutron is an uncharged or neutral particle with about the same mass as the proton. Okay. Now we can say, hence within the atom, there are three different types of particles, smaller than the atom itself. They are the electrons, protons, and neutrons, and are together called the fundamental particles or the subatomic particles. Now we have a table of the subatomic particles with charge and mass for proton its charge is one that is positive and mass is 1.007 atomic mass unit for neutron charge is zero the mass is 1.00867 atomic mass units and for electron the charge is minus one and the mass is 0 0.000549 atomic mass unit now you might wonder what the atomic mass unit is See, AMU, which full form is atomic mass units, where 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 AMU is equal to 1 gram. Now we have the structure of the atom. Okay. See, the mass of an atom is concentrated in the nucleus. The nucleus of an atom is positively charged. The nucleus contains two different kinds of particles, neutrons and protons, held close together. A third kind of particles called electrons moved around the nucleus. See the image? This is the structure of the atom. Protons and nucleus, uh, protons and neutrons are embedded inside the nucleus and electrons are revolving around the nucleus in a specific path. Okay, next we have atomic number. For an atom to be electrically neutral, the number of electrons in the atom must be equal to the number of protons. This number is called the atomic number. And it is different for each of the 118 elements in the periodic table. So, the definition is the atomic number is the number of protons present in an atom and which is represented by the symbol capital Z. Okay, next we have mass number. The number of neutrons present in a nucleus is around the same as the number of protons present. The neutrons do not affect the charge of the nucleus as they are neutral. 
Okay. However, they add to the mass of the nucleus and therefore of the atom. A neutron has about the same mass as a proton, that is one AMU. AMU means atomic mass unit. More than one element can have the same number of neutrons. The mass number of an atom is the sum of the number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus and it is represented by the capital letter A. Okay. Next we have the atomic mass. Atomic mass of an atom is calculated in AMU that is atomic mass unit and is close to the mass number. It is obtained by adding the masses of the protons and neutrons present in the nucleus. Since the mass of the atom is negligible, it is ignored. Okay. Now see, for example, see how you can read the elements in a periodic table. The atomic number is written above the symbol and the atomic mass is given below the symbol. The mass number is the nearest whole number to the atomic number. Here 6 is the atomic number, C is the symbol of the element, carbon is the name of the element and 12.011 is the atomic mass of this element. That's how you can read the elements in a periodic table. Okay. Now see. Now how to represent an element? An element is represented as a symbol with the mass number as a superscript and atomic number as the subscript. See here X is the atomic symbol, okay, symbol of the element and here A which is represented by mass number which is number of protons and neutrons in the atom and it is used as superscript and then we have atomic number which is used as the subscript okay now see representation of some elements here is a table see we have four elements helium lithium sodium and iron which atomic numbers are as follows for helium atomic number is two and mass number is four that's why we represent helium as like this for the mass number as superscript and atomic number as subscript and H is the symbol of helium element that's how we did it for lithium sodium and iron okay copy it in your copies next we have a list of elements where we have the symbol we have the atomic number we have the mass number and the number of neutrons so how to find out the neutrons number of neutrons in any element because uh, when it is given then the mass number and the atomic numbers are given so the formula is mass number minus atomic number okay write it down in a copy it will help you to represent any element how to represent when it is given according to the periodic table if the element is carbon which is 6 then the symbol of the carbon is capital C and which is which atomic mass is 12.011 we can represent it like C126. 12, 12 is the mass number and 6 is the atomic number. So when it is given that you when you are given a structure like this, like this carbon, and you and you are asked to represent it, so you have to represent it like that. Okay. This mass is for today. In the next class, we will read the valency and the electronic configuration of any atom. Okay. Thank you.